Hello everyone, I have prepared a new version of my programmer, which I called Neon Flash Loader. This program for Windows allows you to load firmware into STM32 microcontrollers via USB UART converter. Each STM32 microcontroller has a bootloader built in, which can load firmware through various interfaces of the microcontroller, including UART. The scheme of connecting the microcontroller to the USB UART converter is shown in the program. The COM port pins DTR and RTS are used to reset the microcontroller and start the onboard bootloader. You can select the function for each pin. You can also enable an version of the operation of the DTR and RTS pins if you want to use transistors to convert voltage levels. You can use any USB UR converter that has DTR and RTS pins. There are now many different models of such modules. I will leave links to them in the video description. It is important to switch the converter to 3.3 volts mode because STM32 microcontrollers do not work with 5 volts. I also added a button that allows you to start programming the microcontroller. You can't click the button and the program on the computer. But this button is not necessary for operation. To test the programmer, I built a simple circuit on a cheap microcontroller. Connect the adapter in power supply to the microcontroller. In the program select our port number and press the connect button. All information about the programmer operation is shown in the text field at the bottom of the window. First of all, we need to open the firmware file in hex format. To do this, click the browse file button and select the desired file. If you don't know how to get a hex file in the STM32 Qbyte compiler, here is a screenshot that shows what checkboxes you need to set in your project settings. Next we can check if the connection is correct by clicking on the device ID button. If the microcontroller circuit is connected correctly, you will see the microcontroller model. Otherwise, a connection error will be shown. You can also press the reset button to reboot the microcontroller. Now we can click on the program button to load the firmware into the microcontroller. Programming is not very fast because the built-in bootloader works at low communication frequency. Therefore, my programmer will be mainly useful for those who rarely work with STM32 microcontrollers and do not want to buy a branded SD-Link programmer. The test program loaded without errors and works well. If you get errors, they are most often caused by incorrect connection or bad contact. There are also bad USB UART converters, so it is better not to buy the cheapest ones. To use the external programming start button, you must press this button. It will turn red, so now the program reads the button. We can press the physical button to start the microcontroller firmware. Although this button is not necessary, because everything can be done with the mouse on the computer. These are all the features I wanted to show you. I may add some additional functions in the future. I want to make devices with a built-in programmer. For example, in this test game console I added a USB UART chip that can work both for data transfer and for reprogramming the microcontroller. Thus, anyone can build a circuit and program it without having a branded ST-Link programmer. Bye, everybody. See you on my channel.